Welcome to the SQL Offline Getting Started videos. In part one, I will connect to a data server, create and modify an offline document, and then update the data server. Here I am running in Windows 8 with the client drivers that I installed from the installation video. I'll begin by connecting to a data server. I'll select MySQL and enter root credentials. I'll specify a sample database that is installed with MySQL and test the connection. I connect to the data server and a source window opens up which allows me to browse database tables and views. Here I'm looking at the table properties for the actor table. I can see the column names and that the last update column is a timestamp. I select film text and open a table. This creates my first offline document. So here I can see the data from the film text table. The entire table has been loaded into an SQL offline document. Now the most important thing to know about an offline document is that it is modified offline. Changes made to an offline document are entirely separate from the database. For example, the text that I'm replacing here changes the offline document in memory only. If I want to update the data server to match the changes I made offline, I use the Write button in the data ribbon. SQL Offline gives me two options for writing to the data server. The first is to create SQL script. If I ran this script, the data would be updated. Instead, I will write directly to the server. Yes to confirm, and the table is updated. Next, I'll close the offline document and reopen the table. Here I can verify in a new offline document the changes that were made earlier. So far in this video, I have made changes in the offline document that resulted in simple updates. Let's move on to an access data file. I'll open the shippers table, which will again create a new offline document. The ellipsis in the upper left displays the columns dialog. I want to add a new data column, and I'll name the column Preferred. Now, I will have a number of data types to choose from. I would like Preferred to be a bool column, which will display checkboxes. I also want to move the column position up. I can click the up arrow a bunch of times, but cut and paste work faster. And if you wanted to, you could copy the column to a different offline document. Now, earlier in this video, I mentioned as you modify offline documents, the data source is not updated unless you explicitly write. This is also true for the column. If you add a column, the data file or data server are not updated. Working with SQL Offline means that I am not required to remain connected to the data. To illustrate, I save the OL file and reload SQL Offline. So how does the OL file reconnect to the data file or server? A data link is stored within the OL file. I click Modify, and I can see the data link, which is a plain text connection string. Now I'll finish this video by writing to the access data file. First, I'll create SQL script. Running this script would add a new column, update an existing shipper, and add a new shipper. Now, as before, I will instead write data directly from the offline document to the data file. Writing directly allows SQL offline to read in default values for new rows. Here, an ID of four was assigned to the new row. And that concludes this getting started video. I hope that it provides you with enough of an overview such that you can begin working in SQL offline on your own. Having said that, I highly recommend that you watch the second getting started video, which discusses how passwords are or are not stored with the data link. Thank you for watching.